I was listening to the radio earlier today, and there were two celebrities, actually well-known celebrities, and I don't want to say their name, and both of them were talking about their divorce, and both of the celebrities agreed and said the same thing, how harsh and how their divorce was, well, you've heard about how divorce can be. And, and that got me to thinking, as you know, I am an advocate for strong marriages, especially in this day and age when it seems like people are finding reasons, easy reasons to get separated and not want to put in the work. I, I, I find it comforting that these two celebrities said what they said. We have glorified divorce and separation. We have made it easy to throw 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years away. We have made it easy to walk away. We've even made it easy to remain in a relationship that you're not happy with, that you're not promoting, that you're not prospering, that you are just there. I was encouraged that they said what they said and, 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 and the people that would hear what they would say. Because at some point we need to be honest with ourselves and with everyone else and let everyone know that there is more to divorce than just going to court and separating, you will deal with your divorce for so many years to come. It's easy to recover the finances. It's easy to recover the possessions. It's easy to recover and find yourself a new mate. But the truth of the matter is, if you marry the person that you love, and even if you fell out of love, the hardest part about divorce is getting from here to here the heart getting your mind to understand that you did love this person and you truly miss that person despite the divorce if we would be honest with ourselves and truthful this is the part that divorce the divorce court the lawyers the judge, the community, the counseling. This is the hardest part about divorce. So my thought process is, instead of making it easier for divorce, why not we strengthen the marriages? Why not find out what it is that is, has broken down or what can we fix or how can we strengthen it? Because in the end, when you separate, it doesn't just affect you. There's a ripple effect, and it actually affects me too. So I ask, what can I do to help you strengthen your relationship? This is Mr. Bowtie, leaving you with two things. Hey, you know, pass this on to your friends. Like, subscribe, comment. I really would like to hear your comments about it. No one has com commented on any of my videos yet, and I would like to hear what you have to say. Uh, good, bad, indifferent, constructive, destructive, whatever. You know, I, I have thick skin, and I want to hear it. And I also want to know if this is helping you. If this is helping you, please let me know. Uh, pass this on to your friends, anybody else that you think is, is, is going to benefit from this information. And let me end you with my two favorite things. One, it's called life, so live it. And two, be the best of you that you can be. It's Mr. Bowtie signing out.